Hello everybody, it's Michael Simbayer. And today, we are doing our brown rice flour and vermiculite recipe. Um, this is a, the typical uh, brown rice flour and vermiculite uh, tech. Um, and we're showing this one for any beginners that don't have a pressure cooker and would like to experiment with growing mushrooms before they go all out and go buying some things. We have our jars. Um, for this technique, we're gonna need to flip our jars, our jar lids over. So we're just gonna place them like this whenever we take our nail and we just go on four ends and hammer the nail in so we have four holes um, for our injection site. And then you can just take one of your syringes that you're gonna be uh, inoculating your liquid culture or spore, uh, spores into and just make sure that it'll fit through the hole before you go, go on with, through with your process. If you're having a hard time getting the nail in uh, when it's flipped this way, just flip it over and get the nail through, um, and then you can just flip it back over. And we just uh, did our little test, and the syringe goes right through perfectly. So we're just going to do this to the rest of our jars. So um, for this recipe, uh, you will need some vermiculite. Uh, we have organic vermiculite, and we have some brown rice flour. Uh, vermiculite is a volcanic mineral. Uh, it holds a lot of water, and this is why we use it for this tech. Um, but this is being mined, so I'm trying to figure out other ways of doing this tech without the vermiculite. We have the brown rice flour as a food source for the fungi. This recipe will fill five of these half pint jars. Most people like to use the wide mouth ones. I found these work just as well, especially if you lay them on their sides during fruiting. Um, so for this recipe, we're going to start out with two cups of dry vermiculite in our bowl. Alright, we have two cups of dry vermiculite in our bowl. Now, we're going to add one cup of water. Alright, now you add your one cup of water, just mix it around so everything gets nice and saturated. Once everything is mixed together, you should have a sandy gravel looking material. The next step is to add one cup of brown rice flour. You can make brown rice flour at home. All you need to do is get some orga organic brown rice. If you have a coffee grinder, you can just grind it up and it'll uh, eventually get into this powder consistency and you can use it just the same. All right, we have one cup of brown rice flour. We're just gonna sprinkle it around and then we're gonna mix it all together. Make sure that the vermiculite gets a nice coating of the brown rice flour. Once everything's mixed together, you should have a coarse, damp material that looks like this. Yours may look darker because sometimes the vermiculite is a little bit darker. So the next step is just fill your jars up to the first line right there. And if you're using the wide mouth jars, just fill them up to this line right here, the first line on the rim. Don't pack it in there. You just want to just let lightly uh, just let it go in there by itself, so there's air uh, in between. If you pack it down, the mycelium won't be able to colonize through it very well. The next thing you're going to want to do is take your jars and just wipe off around the top where there's no brown rice flour. Make sure that there isn't anything around the rim because you don't want anything to grow down through there. So just make sure you get all your, all your jars nice and clean.
All right, so after you've got your rims all cleaned off, just go ahead and add dry vermiculite on the top. This acts as a air filter, protective barrier from any, uh, any thing that wants to get in there. So just add some dry vermiculite on the top. Make sure you wipe off around the edges. And put your lid on with the lid upside down. As you can see with the white part there. So then what you're gonna wanna do is just take some masking tape. Just cover over the holes. You can also use medical micropore tape. Our jars are all prepped. All we need to do now is just cover them with aluminum foil. All right, we got our jars all covered with aluminum foil and we have a pot that's big enough to hold our jars. So what you're gonna to wanna to do is just put some jar lids down. Oh. You're gonna want a, a big soup pot. This pot, I would actually love it to be a little bit bigger, but this is the biggest pot I have. So we're gonna put some of these jar lids down to keep them above the water. And we're also just gonna put a layer of aluminum foil. If you don't have any extra jar lids, you could just do a few layers of aluminum foil. You just want your jar your jars to be above the water. And you wanna make sure that there's enough water that you can boil it for 90 minutes, an hour and a half, without uh, the water boiling all the way down. So when we put it, when we put it on the stove, we're just gonna to wanna to bring the water to a boil and then keep it at a low enough temperature that it stays boiling. And then we can keep it boiling for an hour and a half and the steam will sterilize these jars. Um, and make sure you put a lid on during the process. You can continue following the YouTube channel to see how it goes when we get these fruiting. We're gonna put some oyster mushrooms on here, um, some gold, pink, and white. Um, if you have any questions or comments, throw that down. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up. Uh, other than that, this has been a mycosymbiote video. Propagate and myceliate. Good luck, guys. I have a lot of mushroom videos. <laughs>